Hey everyone, so it is Saturday and it's a beautiful day out there. So we're going to go to the park, if the autofocus works. <laughs> we're gonna go to the park today and fly my RC airplane as well as RC boat. Are you excited for it? She's really excited for it. <laughs> I'm eating an apple. Eating an apple. And here is where the Got the boat and the plane ready to go, so. There's the champ. You got that for me for Christmas last year, or two years ago. Two years ago. Two years ago. And then a good old boat. Gotta have the boat with us. But, probably gonna go to the hobby store and buy a new battery for it. Cause the 2400, just not cutting it anymore. Gonna have to go with the 2S LiPo 5000 milliamp. That's the idea behind it, at least. Uh, Timmy's supposed to come meet up with us, the one that uh, flies the drone. So he's gonna fly his drone around and whatnot, so I think that'll be fun. Should be cool. Here's Luna. She got, they got uh, collars. They got new collars, the animals did, see? Look at that. A little collar back here. And she's like, hey, this is Luna. She wanted me to scratch her neck, that's what it was. That's what it was. She's being lazy. She's in her spot. I don't know where Solo, oh there's Solo, he's over here. And we can't find his. He got his collar off like the first day. The first day. He got it off the first day. And we don't know where he went, where he put it. Little bastard. Little bastard. So, interesting stuff is uh, here in August, August 9th and 10th, we're going to Charlotte, North Carolina uh, to the NASCAR Hall of Fame area, as well as for DMR, who's making the new NASCAR Heat Evolution game. Uh, and I get to do, the well, we're both going, and we're gonna shoot a vlog and all that good stuff, that'll be fun. But we're going to be uh, behind the scenes of all that stuff, as well as get to record exclusive content of NASCAR Heat Evolution, which I'm excited about because there isn't too much out there and uh it's better to have something that week of august rather than wait until september 13th or so how's the apple really good really good <laughs> it's a beautiful day out there yes you do look at me dad all right so i say we uh get ready i'm gonna get my sandals on because i'm barefoot get my sandals on and then we're gonna go rcing so yeah, yesterday we went to TJ Wings, which is a local wing joint in the Fenton area. And uh, we met a subscriber there, his name was Charles. It was really cool to meet him. He pulled his phone out and he had uh, the JF logo on it. it was, I, was, I was pretty impressed, I was like, wow. It is so weird to meet uh, people in the local area, you know? Like when you go to, you go to a convention or you go to like an air show or something and you have a big public area it's pretty uh pretty common to, to meet up with people but just have somebody randomly say hey are you jeff and I was, I was pretty blown away by that so really cool to meet charles that was neat and we had the wings there and the wings there were actually pretty good we got the hot ones and then we got the hot honey the hot honey ones i really like the hot honey ones but uh everybody just rant and raved about this place being one of the greatest of St. Louis for hot wings and we're hot wing fanatics so we did that right now we're rolling through the downtown area of Fenton, and we're almost to Minnehaha Park. We got, uh, was that Clark's? Clark's Bar and Grill. Never been there. Let's go in there and do some shots. Uh. <laughs> and we crossed the Merrimack River. Now, what's really cool is if you look off to the right up here, that's where um, we took the RC boat the first time. That's where George Winter Park is up there, which is pretty cool. And then here on the left, oh, there's a bunch of people at the beach. Right here at, um, at Mini Ho Ho. So we're gonna turn in here, we're gonna go to the soccer park field and that's where we're gonna fly. All right, so we're at uh, Mini Ha Ha Park and we are going to open this thing up. And uh, what's really cool about this uh, park flyer is that it comes with a box that you can use for transporting, which you do want to do. You don't want to just throw this thing because it's really fragile. Easy, little Air Ronca Tramp here. Uh, got the controller. And this is neat because it's a uh, charger that you can take out here to the park. You don't have to plug it in. You, it just uses batteries and you can charge it, quick charge it right here at the field so you don't have to worry about that. 
And believe it or not, that's the battery. Look how tiny that thing is. So all you do is plug this guy in. Get this all going really quick here. Doesn't take very long at all to just to get this working. All right, I was a little rusty and uh, I realized you have to turn that on before you put the uh, battery in. So now we have working aileron, or sorry, no ailerons on this, just a rudder, and then elevator. And then we'll test the, there we go, just like that. We're gonna hand launch it right into the air and get the thing flying, how about that? Fun little park flyer, but when it's really windy out like this today, you can see it gets thrown away, thrown around a lot, but no damage or anything to it. <laughs> Fantastic little guy. Fly with me. Fly with me. Now we're taking our nice little stroll through the the park here so we can go to a couple poke stops. There's actually two of them right down here. And I just caught an Eevee right there on that road. I didn't go into the road, obviously. Right there, we got to. him. I got him, he was I right there. Him. I saw him. Saw we him. just got our information back, uh, well, we just got more information back from PAX West in Seattle, so uh, we're probably going to that. They, they said to for us to send some more information, so that gets approved. Um, I know that Zach sent his stuff off too, so we were hoping, we are praying to go to Seattle. It'd be so cool to go to Seattle and go see uh, Bowen Field and all that good stuff. I think it'd be pretty amazing if you ask me. If you ask me. But as you can see, look how amazing. This is so nice down here. And it's so hot out today that this is providing a lot of, a lot of coolness. Pretty awesome. We're waiting for Timmy. He said he was on his way with his drone, so we'll probably fly some more. I've got the battery charging and uh, we'll fly with him and also, I'll probably shoot some of his drone flying stuff. That'll be pretty cool. All right, we made it to the, the Pokestop. Half mile of Osage. Oh, Super Bowls and Super Balls and Pokeballs. That's what we want. Oh, and there's a Pidgey. A wild Pidgey appeared right there. Let's get him. I don't see him. No, he's not there. All right, let's head back, because Timmy's here. All right, Timmy showed up. He's got his Traxxas. And you got a 5,000 milliamp in there now? Yes, sir. Nice, he's got red and blues. That was too many flips, man. Too many flips, the camera came off.
right, so we went to uh, Schaefer's. I got a new battery for the boat. Also went to Qdoba. We had Qdoba for lunch, or dinner. And now we are pulling into Simpson Park, which is a St. Louis County park. And there's a beautiful lake here. I wanted to show it to you guys. Um, it's a great place to run the, the boat because the boat really likes that glass water. So we're gonna we're gonna run it with a 2400 milliamp first, so you can see what that's like, and then we're gonna switch over to the new one, which is like 4100, I think, is what it ended up getting out of 5000. So we'll find out. All right, we are at uh, Simpson Park here at the Simpson Lake, and I'm gonna run the 2400 first, but we did pick up a 4100 milliamp 2S LiPo. And we're gonna do that one next, but this is the 2400, the normal one that you know. I, I just wanna see the difference between the, uh, the speed and the... This hasn't been fully charged, so it's only probably got about 50% charge on it. So we're not gonna be running it too long. I'm just interested to see how it behaves. Go back a little bit there, there we go. But yeah, that 2400 is just, it's nice and smooth. It's just, uh, there's just not enough power though. For a minute it got a lot of speed um but like i said you know this is just right out of the store so it's not fully charged so it wasn't at its max that it can be but nonetheless very nice that's a huge jump so awesome stuff timmy brought his drone so we got some drone footage too i think it turned out just fine we are here walking the trails and i want to walk over here because i want to show you this view, this view is really awesome. The Canon died, so I had to switch over to the phone. But look at this view of the Simpson Lake, which we were just driving the boat in and all that stuff, but look at that. Isn't that cool? Dude, that's amazing. Here's somebody over there. I don't know. It's a really cool park, though. It was funny, two people came by on their bikes this older couple and they, uh, they're like, are you guys poke going, pokey going? They're like, yeah, we're pokey going. It's like, no, we're not out getting exercise or anything. We're just worried about Pokemon Go, which is not true. We don't care that much. Well, actually I do. It started getting, uh, it's, it's starting to get a little more competitive in our close friend group, Pokemon. Oh, that's the road right there. That's cool. Yeah. We're gonna continue down the trail, catch them all. All right, so that's the end of the vlog for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun uh, flying and uh, using the boat. Pretty awesome stuff. So it is uh, Saturday. So tomorrow we're going to a pool party thing. And then uh, I'll probably edit this video on Sunday. So I'll get it out by Monday and we'll have the uh, the best of as well. So with that said, guys, I'll see you very soon. Take care.